this amp meter right here, the positive, is going directly, uh, let's see, here's the positive going directly into the positive of the battery. And then the negative of the amp meter is going to this wire right here, which is going directly into the load. And we go out of the load into the, um, oh, into the drain of the MOSFET. And then the source of the MOSFET, we got the shunt, and then we have the um, negative going right back to the battery here, powering the circuit. So what I want to show is I got channel 1 directly across this shunt here. This um, 0 0.25 ohm calibrated current sensing resistor. 0 0.25 ohms. Okay, now on the Tektronix TDS3054C, this is the waveform across the shunt. And I'm showing 30 millivolts and 201 RMS. 201 divided by 30, 6.7 times spread. Even though it's positive, with that kind of spread, 6.7 times, you can get a gain. If you do the drawdown tests, you'll see it. But anyway, the point of this is that um, 30 millivolts, which is uh, 0.03 divided by 0.25 ohms on the shunt is 0.12 amps. Okay, I just calculated that right there. 0.12 amps, and you can see um, that that multimeter is pretty close. The amp meter is pretty close. And so what that shows is there's nothing wrong with this meter. And it's working just fine. And second, it's showing that that DC mean is actually showing about the same of what that amp meter is showing. Not as accurate as taking 10,000 samples on a screen, but still, you got to admit, that number, dividing it by the shunt, showing the current, is showing exactly the same current that the amp meter is showing. Well, 100th different, but it is flopping between 0.11 and 0.12. Okay, so anyway, now that we've established that this is showing um, pretty accurate representation of what the current draw really is, what I'm going to do is, well first of all, I'm going to show you what noise is because I have never shown noise as a waveform. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the timer and I'm going to disconnect the battery okay here I can turn the waveform up on the load and this is what noise looks like I can't even get a higher amplitude than 5 millivolts per division and this looks like nothing that I've ever shown and it's only 2.5 millivolts RMS what I showed before with the self oscillating MOSFET I had very specific interval of oscillations per oscillation burst with dead space in between another burst, dead space, another burst, dead space. So when I showed you that self-oscillating MOSFET, that's exactly what it was doing was self-oscillating. And this video is basically not talking to everybody. This is specifically pointing out a few things to some of the skeptics who um, want to claim otherwise. Uh, point 99, you mentioned that this, that what I showed was noise. Well, so that you do know what the difference is between noise and an oscillation, this is noise, and I've never shown this as a waveform across the shunt, okay? So, anyway, that's noise. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect the power back up. We're back to the 0.12 volts, or 0.12 amp. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll bring this back down. Okay, and what you can see is there's your 30 millivolts DC. Okay, divide by 0.25 ohms, and you got about... 0.12 amps. Okay, so what I've just demonstrated here is that this meter is showing really what the current is. That's really showing what's on the load. This is really showing what's being drawn from the circuit and showing that that mean, even without crunching the data, is fairly accurate. Okay, but the point to this is if you want to see what the meter does when it's um, the circuit is running at negative, it's never going to show you the numbers. It's just going to show you zeros and maybe a negative in front. Okay, right here, I'll show you this. Let's see, we're 18 volts. You can see that that's coming down. You can see that this is down to 0 0.4 milliamps. See, I can turn it up, and it's going to give me the reading while the battery goes down as I'm cranking it up, obviously. And I'm going to 
turn it back in the other way. Voltage is going up. Now the amperage is going down. So obviously everything is correlating here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, run it just on the verge of going negative. Um, what I want to do is bring this about right there, 2021. Um, let's see, we're at 3 amps right now. Okay, um, this is the waveform. Okay, as I bring this down. Okay, we got a very solid waveform. This is not noise. Okay, that's not noise. That's going negative. Okay, and I'll take it negative even more. Right now it's at, well, up to negative 600 microvolts, but I wanted at least a couple millivolts negative. Okay, even on a bunch of samples, you can see that that's, that's negative. Negative 1.96 millivolts. Okay, here's what the scope looks like. Here's the um, waveform, and I have a very symmetrical above and below. This is not noise. This is a real steady waveform that's averaging a negative um, below compared to above. This right here is operating at negative 2 millivolts and 8 RMS. Now, if I disconnect the power totally, there's your noise. Okay, so I'm not showing you noise. This is the real circuit running. And there is your zero watts with a negative sign that will be flashing in front. Okay, right now it's on the 200M scale, or 20, I'm going to put it on 200M scale. There's your no wattage and negative wattage. Okay, there's your negative sign flashing on the zero that indicates negative wattage, which means surely there is not even 0 0.001 amps being drawn. Okay, back to 20 millivolt scale, this is 2000... Um, micro there's your negative current there's your negative current on the 200 back to 2000 micro 20 milli there's your negative current 200 milliamp scale there's your negative current right there okay I got the red cord stuck inside that uh, 10 amp one, but you can see it's giving me the right amperage. It does not have to be stuck in a milliamp one, but I'll do it anyway just to show you that if I take that and I put it in there, you're basically just going to get the exact same readings. 20 m, here's 200 m, okay, still negative. There's the micro scale. There's your negative wattage, and there's your 200 micro scale. There's your negative wattage, and it likes to hang out at the negative longer than the positive, and I wonder why. So anyway, there's your little amp meter demo of negative wattage. Correlating with this, correlating with battery voltage and um, the waveform on the... Uh, load which is and there you go negative two and a quarter watts and a quarter millivolts now there's no way this is ever going to show a positive reading there's your negative wattage negative wattage negative wattage negative wattage so there you go all across the board negative wattage on an ammeter